Namaskar. I'd like to talk today about Shocha. It's the sixth principle of the Jama Niyamas. It's maintain the cleanliness of one's body and the environment, as well as mental purity. This principle is described well in this very small book called The Guide to Human Conduct by Sri Sri Anandamurti. So the first part is keeping your environment, your home, your workplace neat and clean because your environment affects you. When your home and your workplace are neat and clean, you feel better. Allow me to tell you a funny story. When I was 21, I worked for a year as a high school teacher in an alternative high school in Southern Maine. And this private school, <coughs> teacher run an alternative school, they gave me a small cabin in the woods, <coughs> a bit smaller than this one, but similar to live in. And one day I came home from school and I had a book that I wanted to read. Actually, the house was kind of dirty and messy. But I lay on the couch, I held the book right up in front of my face and I told myself, I'm looking at the book, I can't see the house. I can't see that it's dirty and messy. I'm just focusing on the book. And that went on for five minutes and I'm not focusing on the book at all. I'm focusing on denying that my house is all dirty and messy. Finally, totally frustrated, I throw down the book, get up, <coughs> and for one hour, I clean everything. Then I went back to the couch, picked up the book again, I had a totally different experience. The book was the same, but the environment completely changed my state of mind, my state of consciousness. The second part of shocha is about your body. Baba says there's no problem to getting sweaty and dirty when you work because all that sweat and dirt washes off when you take a shower. It washes off your clothes when you wash your clothes. We shouldn't avoid hard work. But after work, you want to shower, bathe, you want to put on clean clothes because that affects your mind as well. The cleanliness of your body and your clothes. What happens on the inside of your body also affects your mind very much. So you want to eat a sentient plant-based diet <coughs> because that will have a positive effect on your mind and your body. Baba says in one place that <clears throat> 
if you have a noble task that you are trying to achieve, you'll fail if you eat bad food, if you drink alcohol, if you take drugs. You need to keep your body, internal side of your body clean and pure with the food that you consume. Otherwise, you know, you're trying to do something good and you keep having internal conflicts caused by an impure diet. The other part is trying to keep your mind pure. I think this is a little more challenging than keeping your body <laughs> externally and internally clean. Impure things will affect your mind. So you should avoid impure things. Pornography, for example. Pornography tends to be very addicting because it stimulates the dopamine in your brain, the nerve cells. It's attractive. So you should, whereas physical work, the dirt and grime, the sweat of physical work will not affect you much. You can wash that off easily. It's harder to wipe out negative influences on your mind. Sex and violence are very attractive. Movie and television shows about sex and violence are the most popular ones. So be intentional about what you read, what you watch, and also the company you keep because the company you keep <laughs> affects your mind as well. Many people find that when you start on the spiritual path, some old friends are not interested in that at all. Come on, let's go to the bar. It's Friday night, let's party. That will not help you on your spiritual journey. New friends who like meditation, who like to be happy and have a good time without alcohol or drugs or any other substances. Those are the friends you want to keep. I have a friend, Didi, she works in Croatia. I asked her, what is your passion? What is the thing you most love to do? What does you really want to do? She says, immediately, she said, my passion is to share stories about God. She says, whenever I tell stories or hear stories about God from anyone, doesn't matter what the religion is, I get high. And that's what she's passionate about. 
that's what elevates her mind. That's what gives, leads her towards mental purity. And of course, nature itself, what you see in the photograph. Nature is very healing and it helps to keep our mind more peaceful and calm. This is a famous quote by the American scientist, Benjamin Franklin. <clears throat> Cleanliness is next to godliness. I think it's true. It feels true for me. It's according to the principle of Shocha. That by keeping our environment clean, our body clean, our stomach, our internal body from what we consume, pure, and keeping our thoughts pure. It's easier to feel the Supreme Consciousness. It's easier to experience the Supreme Consciousness, that divinity that is inside you and inside me and inside everything and everyone. The only reason we don't feel it all the time is because we're not following these principles of Jama Niyama. And Shocha is important in that. So this is my little presentation about cleanliness. Thank you.